I'm Glenn Powell, and I'm gonna show you how to train like I did for Top Gun. Well, as soon as I was cast in Top Gun, one thing that was on my mind, which is a montage. The first movie had the volleyball montage. We have a football montage. And I knew the stakes were high, so the first stop was Ultimate Performance to see my buddy Eddie here to figure out how to be the best of the best of that scene. You know, we, look, when you're doing Top Gun, you have to obviously look the part, but you also have to put intense stress on your bodies when you're in the back of a fighter jet. Upwards of seven and a half Gs, and not to pass out, you have to have a certain amount of core strength. So everything that we're doing in here is strength-based, but it's also functional, so I don't get hurt on set while you're doing stunts with Tom Cruise, because it's easy to do. So we're gonna start with deadlifts. Deadlifts are gonna work hips and back. And for me, uh, that's the most crucial part of you know not getting hurt on set. That kind of just gets the entire base. It works everything so that no matter what sort of stunts you do, your foundation is strong, so you're not gonna get hurt. The only thing that that doesn't work is the chest. One of the cinema muscles, as Stallone calls them. Bang, up, up, up. That's better, well done, good, awesome. Oh, look at that, you can do it by yourself. <laughs> it is the uh, Romanian terror. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna work up to uh, 100 pounds in each hand, and they're gonna be low reps, gonna be six to eight reps uh, per set, three sets of 100. Sometimes you just gotta get yourself psyched up to get your ass kicked. Every time I walk in the door, I'm always like, rest is. <laughs> this is the Full service part of the gig. I don't put any articles of clothes on my body unless Eddie puts them on for me. Oh, that's it. Good. If you do heavy weight, you can't just like muscle it up. Otherwise you get hurt. Good. Undies on Mondays. Let's make that a hashtag. <laughs> I'm learning, you keep the technique and flex at the bottom and then you get to the top and you're flexing everything and really keeping it precise, you can, you know, max out 100 pound dumbbells without getting hurt. Well, the thing is like with you, we have to work a little bit more, being slightly more patient because your mentality is about going mental. <laughs> There's some issues we need to uncover there. I don't know. <laughs> this is usually where Eddie and I take things to a new level. We'll put some um, weights on my waist. That's gonna be working the back and the lats to make sure it's extra hard, to make sure uh, we get a full workout. And you know, just to show off a little bit. Get it, get it, that's it. And we're gonna do, that's usually to failure. And then we're gonna do, from there, we're gonna do ring push-ups. That is where you have these hanging rings, you put a weight on your back, and that's gonna work your core, because it's just gonna blast everything. Because you have to maintain a plank with weight on your back. Every muscle in your shoulders and arms, it fires up everything, because these things are moving, and you're trying to keep them stable. These particularly suck, but I think one of the most impactful things, if you're trying to rip up the top half of your body. Beautiful. Don't try to be a high school hero right off the bat. Build up to it. Eddie, Eddie always looks me in the eyes. He's like, do you, can you do more weight? And I'll always answer you honestly, if I can do more, even if I don't want to do more. Go. Uh, yeah, finish it. Hold. Got it. Beautiful. That's how you get your ass kicked. <laughs> and then from there, hanging knee raises. If you're trying to find football montage abs, this will shred you up, no doubt. This is where you'll really start seeing the abs pop. It doesn't feel good, but it is the quickest way to dust off some abs that have been hiding from you for most of COVID and quarantine. Yes, sir. Let's go, one a bit. And then from there, the rows, which obviously work the back, that just strengthens everything. You don't want to strengthen one side or the other. You want to make sure it's complete. The key with that one is not going up, it's going back. Here, you want, you want to see something quick? Go ahead. You sit on the back seat? Yeah. I'm going to fly the jet. It's a stick, throttle. So now we're going throttle up, bank left, throttle up, bank right, deep throttle. Now pull, going up. That's Top Gun. <laughs> That's how you train for Top Gun. 
And then we're gonna end with some strongman stuff, and that is the most brutal of it all. A weighted sled and some rope pulls, uh, and that is just where you go all out, scream, be angry, think about everybody who's wronged you in your whole life, and then push and pull a sled as hard as you can. <sighs> all right, so that was my workout. It sucked, but just like Top Gun, it's all about competition. And if you want to be the best of the best, you got to put in the work. And I'm going to get out of here before the Romanian terror comes back to make me do more.